Good morning. We are up early this morning because this one has his six weeks, six week postpartum visit. Me too, I guess. It's with my midwife, so it is my six week and his six week appointment. Um, but we just got a message from our midwife that she is being called into a birth. So um, we cannot go right now. She's going to get me rescheduled for this afternoon after the baby comes. But I've never been more excited for an appointment to be canceled because I know that the um, baby that's coming that my midwife is going to is actually one of my very best friends and she is getting ready to have her baby. So, so exciting. Can't wait to um, welcome that little one into the world and then have our appointment later this afternoon. So since we have some free time, we're gonna trek to the grocery store. We have been sick the last like four or five days here and we have exhausted every single tissue that's in our house. Um, so yes, off to the grocery store we go. We just made it home, so I will walk you through our haul, but I will tell you what, taking three young kids to the grocery store, especially Aldi where you have to bag your own groceries or check yourself out or whatever it is, that is no hard feat. Like, I mean, that is hard. Um, lots of helping going on and it took a long time and it was just, Yes, so I'll walk you through the haul for a minute, but we also like did a quick thing to Sam's the other day. Um, I have like the premium membership where you can get it um, shipped to your house. So I did get tissues and mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is never something I usually get from Sam's. We do not like go through it that fast. We don't have it that much here. So just getting it all to usually, but it was on instant savings, which like put it down really a cheap, cheap price. So I did just go ahead and get it. Tissues, as I said earlier, we were sick. We exhausted every tissue. Need some more tissues in our life. To the Aldi haul. First up, we have some Fuji apples, some strawberries, an English seedless cucumber, two packs of butter, we were completely out, sour cream, and some strawberry Greek yogurt. Also got a few bananas. And then I got these for school lunches. My girls who are at home with me will have that. And my girl who goes to school will have these. Um, two cans of tomato soup here. I got three cans of peaches. My girls just, we found one in our pantry and they loved them, wish there was more. So I got several to have again for them. I got the kind in grape juice rather than the heavy syrups. I also got a can, can of black beans because I went to make some the other day. We were completely out and I always like to have one on hand even if I make the hard dry beans myself most times. I got some raspberry jelly here. I also picked up three packs of cheese, two sharp cheddar and one Colby Jack. I can shred these myself or have them um, just cut with crackers. Got some salami for lunches, some pepitas because I was out for granola. I may use these to make granola. I also got some croutons. My girls love to just snack on these. And some pretzels. These kind specifically are great in hummus. Hi, Juliana. <laughs> I got four cartons of eggs. We go through a lot of eggs. I got some cracker rounds. These are like mostly for lunches at our house. I also picked up one thing of cashew bars. My husband likes these for work. A soy sauce we were out. Onions we were completely out of. A bag of avocados. We love these for snacking and for avocado toast and such. Got two pizzas for Friday night. We were really low on baking supplies, so I picked up some brown sugar. I typically like to make my own with molasses, but they didn't have molasses at the store, so I had to get some brown sugar. I picked up a couple um, semi-sweet chocolate chips for cookies or for granola, a couple coconut flakes. We were completely out, and I used this in granola and for oatmeal. I picked up, the kids actually picked, um, Frito, like corn chips, Doritos, uh, butter popcorn, and tortilla chips here. And then we picked up some graham crackers. Again, these are like more snack foods for my kiddos. And then I picked up sourdough. This is what Dan and I like. And the kids bread. like white bread. Yeah, that's right. That's the kind you like, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we also picked up some croissants because these are just really good in the morning with an over easy egg. I will tell you what. Um, lastly, if I didn't say it, we got pizza, but I think I did. And so that is it. That is the haul. And um, it was about 99 something, almost 100 at Aldi. Hi, little guy. Are you nice and fed? He loves this bouncer. Like staring at these things 
This is like his happiest place outside of my arms, I swear. And good news, my friend did have her baby, so um, everything was good and went well, but my midwife is now free after her birth and you know, two hour postpartum period. So she did schedule me for a couple hours from now. So we will be going to do that and that will be our plan pretty much for the day. Get on my list of the things I love, love, love. It is the next day. I am in the middle of making some avocado toast here, finishing that up for my older girls. Gerard just wake up, woke up, and so Lord knows I have like five minutes before he gets fussy and wants to be held again. So I am making something for the little kids, the bigger kids, I guess now, uh, so that they have something when I am needing to tend to him. I meant to film the rest of our day yesterday, and to be honest, I just forgot. So um, I just wanted to show you what I was gonna film, which was this guy. So I made these, these are roasted chickpeas. They are so easy to make and I wanted something because with Gerard, it's like I just eat when I can. I graze a lot. I like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm not eating at regular intervals. And so a lot of times I'm just pulling out a snack, something that's quick and easy. And so I've been trying to make sure everything's prepped so that I have like a vegetable and a dip to pull out, but sometimes I just go for crackers or something. And so I wanted something like that to be able to grab that was a little bit more healthy. So easy to make guys. You just um, get some chickpeas, garbanzo beans if you want to get them canned, and you put some olive oil with some seasonings. You can do whatever you want. I did a mix of like paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, um, cumin, coriander, salt, pepper, and then you um, mix it all up. You roast them at 400, 425, maybe 400 for, I don't know, like 15 minutes. They're nice, crunchy, like a nice just snack to grab a handful of. When I'm done feeding him, I wanted yesterday to film dinner so that I could show you what we were eating and stuff and give you some meal ideas. So since I forgot, Instead, I'm just gonna show you our meal plan for the week so that you can get some meal ideas and I will link all the recipes in the description below too if you wanna check those out. You're so happy though, huh? So here are our meals this week. Mississippi pot roast, then a one pot chicken cordon bleu. This one is so great for cold weather and really delicious, so easy too. A sausage and gnocchi soup. Always in the winter we try to do a soup a week. Taquitos with rice and beans. This one is a family hit. All my kids love it. We always schedule in a day of leftovers. A bacon wrapped pork tenderloin with baked potatoes and I'll just get a vegetable, you know, any vegetable will do. And then quinoa enchiladas. This is more kind of like a chili almost, but it is meat free and we'll have that with cornbread. So that is our plan in case you need some ideas. And sorry, you didn't get to see me make anything. So last night in the middle of the night, I noticed that he was starting to get a little bit stuffy and had a booger or two. And so I'm really hoping he's not getting what we all had because I feel like he's just too little to get that. Like it could be so dangerous for just a little baby. So this is like the moments where I'm thankful I'm breastfeeding because all those antibodies that I can give him hopefully will keep him, you know, from getting anything severe. So keep him in your thoughts obviously and hoping it's just like a little stuffy nose not doesn't turn into anything crazy anyway i wanted to show you guys this little product because it has been like really helpful as he's um you know had some boogers i actually got it um on accident a couple years ago uh, i ordered something online from bye bye baby and it came in the package of the thing that i ordered it was like a miss pack and the company didn't want it back this is a Frida product. It's like a nose picker for babies. You could be one of the things I love. Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked. 